Yo, Nexus Miles video. Um, we're doing raging form, big surprise. I run Fritz for the starter because he's a Revenger and not some stupid dog. Because everyone's like, you're mm, Fubu. It's like, no, I'm running the Revenger. This was the starter for the uh, Revenger trial Probably. deck. Yeah. We just need Creeping Dark to go back. So anyway, we run raging form because that's the main card of the deck. Its skill is when it's placed on Vanguard, if you have four more damage, like limit break, counterblast one, and then search your deck for a grade two or less Revenger, and then call it to a rear guard, and then shuffle. Um, but its other skill is at the end of the battle that attacked, retire three Revenger rear guards, choose up to one grade three Revenger, so not exclusively limited to raging form, and then ride it uh, from your hand as stand. So you can kind of like loop the two in. You can, this deck can do, uh, three vanguard attacks in a turn it's very nice um then for the backup for now because we don't have the other card that will make uh that will give me a good excuse to make a second deck profile that's almost exactly the same as this one um we run three illusionary revenger mordred phantom so this one is uh anytime you call a blaster dark to rear guard you get an uh imaginary gift force and when this unit attacks, if your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater, counter blast one and stand all of your blaster darks and they get 10K. I think it's a good backup. And it's for that reason that I run four blaster darks, but only with three different artworks. Do you like that, Richard? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I don't like the uh, other trial deck one. Oh, okay. It reminds me of 2019 when I was miserable with my life. So I run uh, this one and then I run this one cause no one likes it. Mm -hmm. they, the hand. Well, there is the, uh... The Care Arts one. You just have to get your hands That on one's that. ugly. Okay, so Blaster Dark. Um, I'll just make the revolutionized joke real quick because we all have to. Its skill is uh, when it's called, you can counter boss one and your opponent picks a rear guard to retire. And then on Vanguard, you can discard a card if you have more rear guards than your opponent. And uh, no, that's not right. If your opponent has no rear guards, you can discard a card from here and it gets a uh, additional drive check. So just, you know, cool to have. It's not a Revenger, unfortunately, which is stupid, but that's okay. The deck works just fine. Then we run four Nullity Revenger Masquerade. Its skill is on call. Check the top seven cards of your deck for either either Blaster, Dark, or Mordred Phantom, add it to hand, and if you add a card to hand, you must retire one of your rear guards. So the cool little thing is, if you ride this as your vanguard and you don't have any rear guards, you don't have to retire. But if you call it and it's your only rear guard, it has to kill itself. Its other skill is continuous during the battle it attacked a vanguard, it gets 3k, so just a nice little 13k uh, beater. And it's a Revenger, so just all around a solid card. Huh? We're on four of this new card, uh, Dark Cloak Revenger Tart or Tartu. I'm pretty sure it's actually Tart, right? So this card's great. Uh, when it's placed on Vanguard or Rear Guard from hand, you can Soul Blast one and search your deck for up to one grade one or less Revenger, uh, call it, and then um, shuffle. And at the end of the turn, retire that unit. So it just helps to fill the board. It's a Soul Blast instead of a Counter Blast. It's just a very easy cost and it, it helps to deck them. Uh, love her. Also, she's got red hair, so she's objectively better than anyone who doesn't have red hair. I run one Barrier Troop Revenger Dorant. Uh, it's a Revenger and I had one slot, so I put it at a one of, um, but its skill is when placed, counter boss one and soul blast one and it gets 10K until the end of turn. And if you have Claudus on board, uh, you get to draw. So I do run Claudus actually. So there's the rare occasion where I get to pull off that combo. Oh yeah, so the main reason I run this is because um, on my final uh, 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 Raging Form ride, I want to have a target that actually gets like a bonus instead of just having to call out like Masquerade or Tartu. Uh, so I run this as just the one of, if it's in the deck and I can go into it, then boom, I have a 20, potentially 30K or more uh, beat stick. So I like it at the one of for now. We'll see how long it lasts. Moving on to the grade ones though, we're in four Dark Armor Revenger Rinal. So the skill is on Vanguard or Rear Guard when its attack hits or it boosts a, a successful attack, um, on the Vanguard. Uh, you can check the top three cards of your deck for one Revenger, add it to the hand, and then put the rest on your bot on the bottom of the deck. Um, and then its second skill is when it's retired by your card's ability, Soul Blast one, and your opponent chooses one of their rear guards and retires it. So nice little control, costs the Soul Blast, gets your resources out, it can search for Raging Form, ride it turn one and probably get a guaranteed search out of it. Use it as your Vanguard booster, so like you might get two to three guaranteed searches leading up to riding to grade three. 
Great card. Then I run four Transient Revenger Masquerade. Uh, so I more so just run this because it's a Revenger, but um, it's also nice because I run Blaster Dark. So it's uh, Act, Counterblast one and shove it to the soul. Call a Blaster Dark from your drop zone to rear guard and that unit gets 5K until end of turn. Its second skill is during the battle it boosted, it gets 3K. So it's just an 11K booster, not that great, but like the recycle is good. And all in all, it's just a Revenger that you have access to. Then I run four Frontline Revenger Claudus. So this is the card that kind of combo, it does combo with Dorant, um, although this one is just much better standalone. At the end of the turn, if your Vanguard is grade three, Counterblast one, shove this unit into the soul and draw a card. And if you have Dorant on your Vanguard or Rearguard, also countercharge one. I'm not too worried about the countercharge costs this deck manages for the most part. But what's really good is you can call this card out using Tartu and at the end of turn before it would get retired, you just shove it to soul instead and you get that draw off. So solid card, nice combo. Feels the soul for another Tartu or that other card that sold, Renal, there you go. And then I run the one brand win just for the grade three search for it being 5K. I don't wanna have too many Revengers in the deck. And again, I had the extra slot. Miles wanted to just run another Dorant. That's kind of just that this is like, it's, a, it's another grade one. I wanted to keep ratios even, and the grade three search can absolutely so help. Oh! For triggers, we <laughs> run four Grim Revenger because it's a Revenger, and four Death Feather Eagle because uh, I, I kind of like the art, I guess. I don't know. I wish we had another Revenger crit. Four Abyss Healer because it's the heat. No, wait, that's not right. I actually run Astral Chain, but I'm not gonna buy a second play set. So this is like just the placeholder for it. Run four Astral Chain Dragon, please. And then run four Dark Shield Maclear for the PG. And then you got, you know, your shield and your gifts. Um, please use Force One with this deck. So that is the deck. Uh, I was gonna say, tell me stuff to update it with, but like, there's nothing yet. We're just gonna wait for the next set. So thank you guys and good night.